Good evening, Chair and members of the Finance and Governance Committee. My name is Katie Casey and I'm the Communications Manager for the City of Oxnard. The item before you this evening is a third amendment with that and design group for on-call services for website design. It is recommended that the Finance and Governance Committee recommend that the City Council approve and authorize the Mayor to execute a third amendment with that and design group for on-call services for website strategy, design, and development for an increase of $105,000 for a total contract amount not to exceed $421,140 and extend the term to June 30th, 2026. Now, as you may have seen, the city has a new website design. We did a request for qualifications back in June, 2022. So that's when our journey began. We then hired Atten Design Group to design and launch the new website. While we were going through this process, Governor Newsom signed Assembly Bill 1637 into law, which requires all cities and counties transition their public-facing websites to the .gov domain by January 1, 2029. The city used this opportunity while we were redesigning our new site to also meet this government mandate and secure Oxnard.gov as the new city URL when the city website went live. In May, we launched the new site, which replaced the obsolete www.oxnard.org website. The new site features a modern, easy-to-navigate website design that meets current ADA and web content accessibility guideline standards. You may have also noticed that it offers a seamless experience across desktop computers, cell phones, and tablets, and the new website complies with AB 1637. So over the past decade, while we were still operating off the Oxnard.org website, various city departments also launched independent microsites such as OxnardPD.org, OxnardHR.org, and OxnardRecEvents.com because the previous website design did not meet their needs. So now that this main city website has been redesigned and transitioned to the .gov platform, our city staff are working to bring all department microsites under the .gov umbrella. Since the city lacks an internal website development team, we will utilize Atten's on-call services to maintain our current website, design custom web pages for various city departments based on their evolving needs and community requests. And we'll also transition all the microsites to the .gov domain system and become compliant with AB 1637. So another benefit of the new website is we have enhanced data and analytics capabilities. So this allows our city staff to work proactively with that and to develop features that address the needs of our community. So through this contract, city staff will work with that and to build customized .gov pages for departments like human resources and police, and will retire their old microsites to ensure compliance with AB 1637. Our on-call services contract with that and will also ensure that all of our new website pages will maintain their usability, functionality, and security features. Atten scope of work includes an hourly billing rate of $175 with resources available up 25 hours per month for 24 months, starting July 1st, 2024 to June 30th, 2026. And again, our recommendation is the Finance and Governance Committee recommend that the City Council approve and authorize the Mayor to execute a third amendment with Atten Design Group for on-call services for website strategy, design, and development for an increase of $105,000 for a total contract amount not to exceed $421,140 and extend the term to June 30th, 2026. And with that, we will take any questions at committee. Thank you.